Hi guys, oh my god, today I'm going to be filming a long awaited makeup tutorial So let's get into it straight away right off the bat So you cannot have good makeup without good skincare and without a good base So what I always do in the morning is put the ordinary nice cinnamide on Then I have to have to have to put sunscreen on the La Roche Posay one I use And then I use the Cos RX Advanced snail 92 all-in-one cream for moisturizer and then in the evening this is retinol it is the most strongest retinoid and it really makes you have baby smooth skin and then i put on moisturizer that is literally it do not overcomplicate your skincare and then i would also shave my face from baby hairs so my skin is perfectly smooth now i have a wet beauty blender and i am going in with the milk primer i put two pumps on and i put this all over my face just like on my hands and then i am going in with the l'oreal true match foundation i am in the shade two warm undertone so I put two pumps on and the key here is, is to dab, dab, literally just dab. This is more or less what I put on every day if I'm going out or if I'm filming, if I am filming, I put a little bit more on so the camera can properly translate what is on my face but it's more or less the same for me it doesn't really change a lot except for contouring like if i can't be bothered to contour or put powder on i don't i also don't like outline my brows every day i just put gel on them depending on my mood just dab dab and dab and dab away until it's all blended then I like going in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I saw this on TikTok and literally it has completely changed the game for me. So just like the Beauty Blender, I am literally just dabbing. And this is a Sephora brush, but I don't remember the number of it because it's worn out. I'm going to come back to this after I contour. Then I'm using the Hourglass. This is also worn off, but this is how it looks like. Guys, when I invested in really good brushes, like if you just want to have good flawless makeup, invest in hourglass brushes. I'm not even joking, like specifically hourglass. Something in this is just pure magic. And then I'm going in with the Lip and Cheek Glow by Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk. And I'm putting this on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm sort of blending it. And I like to put some on my nose. So instead of dabbing this time, I'm literally just like airbrushing it on. And I literally feel like my skin is airbrushed because of this product. And also what I've been liking to do lately is putting this on my finger and just putting it on my lips as well. Same blush, same lippies, it's so cute. And then when you put a lip gloss on, oh my God, it just, it looks so fire. And this is a lip product also. For contour, it's this or literally nothing else. I use the Makeup Forever Professional, Professional Paris, and it is literally like a full on gel consistency, everything like, contour blush everything it is amazing it's so beautiful it is such a good investment guys like and then i'm using the 93 contour brush by sephora the thing is guys you need to use product that is all the same consistency so if you're going for gel then stick to gel you know what i mean so i'm picking the darkest color here and i'm lightly dabbing it and you see i've already done it here like i put it where like this area of my ear and i just kind of brushed it down and i'm doing the same thing here it really defines my face yeah so i have started using just gel products for makeup and it has completely transformed my look it's when you guys started asking for a makeup tutorial as soon as i started this combination like it's completely revolutionized my life i'm not 
even joking. I like to put it here as well and blend it. Blendy, blendy, blendy. And then I like to do a three here, but not super defined. Not as defined as here, so you can still see more of a pop on the cheek. And the jaw. I also like doing it here. I don't contour my nose, but I like doing it here because it makes it look a little bit shorter. So then I go back to the Brighten Up Essence and I literally just put it here so it brightens up so it looks even more defined. Especially when you're filming on camera, it really picks it up. I really lightly put on some highlighter. I don't do this all the time, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like the best highlighter that I've ever used in my life. I'm not even joking. If I'm filming, I will literally not blend this. Like it literally stays like this. I'm going to a cute picnic with my best friend. Shout out to Gigi. I love you so much. She's bringing her 12 week old puppy and we're watching the sunset, getting some wine, getting a charcuterie board at the supermarkets and just having a cute little picnic and watching the sunset. We always do the cutest, most wholesome things. Like I absolutely love her because she's always down to do exactly what it is that I want to do. So I put this in like the top apples of my cheeks, like very lightly. And I'm going to come back to this again soon. So I'm going to do my brows next. And this is literally what I have been using since 2015. I'm not even joking. It is the Sleek Makeup Medium Brown Kit. And it is like a dip pomade. Like, you know how everyone was using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip pomade? This was mine. Like, I had the dip pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it did not hit for me. Like, this specific brush, this specific consistency is literally how I do my brows. Like, without this, I actually wouldn't know how to do my brows. Because I have never left this product. I kind of outline here. And it actually sort of blends by itself when I use my clear gel brow. So I just blend it a little bit and I don't go overboard. Like I just try to make it as faint as possible. But then when we go over here, I want to elongate this. So it's gonna, if I do like a diagonal line here, it sort of matches up with that. I don't want to make it any longer, but I do want that part to be pretty dark. So I'm going to let that chill for a little bit and I'm going to do my eyeshadow. So usually for every day, this is literally my holy grail, like my Lord and savior makeup by Mario. Like look at this perfection. This is absolutely beautiful. This is what I use for every single day. So I'm going to be using this, but Speaking of Gigi, she gifted me this when she was in Europe because just in passing, I was like, oh, I really want to get into more like pinky looks with my eyeshadows. And she literally just got me this and I'm so grateful. It is the Petal Passion, not Europe, sorry, New York. She was in New York and she gave this to me for Christmas. The 9P Petal Passion by Morphe. So I'm going to use go to this one right here and i'm gonna use this brush i don't remember specifically the name of this brush oh it's the tarte but it doesn't have a number or anything because this is pretty old i got it at sephora though so yeah i'm gonna dab it into go to and blend it in blendy all over like literally all over and we're kind of extending it to here because that makes her eyes look bigger and then we're just blending it upwards if i do youtube videos and i'm bothered to do this i go on with the nars the wet concealer and i put it here and then i just blend it so it's more of like a defined look but i'm not gonna do that today i might put say no more just in the corners because i'm just feeling cute right now so cute so then i'm gonna go back to makeup by mario the everyday palette and i'm gonna go in with this this one right here and i'm gonna use a fluffier brush and i'm gonna do like that moon thing that makes your eyelids look deeper so i'm just literally underlying like kind of where my eyeball meets this area have fun with makeup guys don't put so much pressure on yourself just 
do what resonates with you just like techniques and you will be so good to go i used to not have fun with this and thought oh my god this has to be perfect and now i'm like you know what like it's just everything is perfect because i'm perfect and like nothing can go wrong so as soon as i adopted that mentality and i stopped worrying i started having more fun with it everything just started happening a lot better then i'm gonna go with an even fluffier brush this brush and the last brush i got at sephora as well it all came in a set i just don't remember what it is but you can definitely just go get like the sephora set brushes and they'll be more or less the same i love sephora brushes i'm just going in and like literally blending all of that and see how it's kind of like black here i might go back and sort of fix that oh actually i don't need any more product i'm just blending it and then i have some dark here i don't know if you can like see that well but i'm going to use like the lightest light and sort of just conceal those areas thankfully i have my trusty brighten up essence so i don't even care i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm just gonna like i thought there was a mirror here i'm just gonna like clean this up like a little bit not going into my blush too much this looks like it needs to be blended a little bit so i'm gonna go back with that really fluffy brush and just blendy blendy here and then i'm gonna go back with the highlighter and i'm literally just gonna really lightly put it on the arch of my brows So it's a little bit more defined and then this just puts it all together along with the lip gloss. I'm using the Great Lash Maybelline. I love this stuff. Just putting it against the grain like this. For a minute, not a whole minute, but <laughs> um maybe just put it down a little bit and bring these babies up and then bring them a little bit down so they're not all the way up and the same thing on this side and bring it down from here onwards the last few steps is i put mascara on so i'm using the essence lash princess i don't like putting too much mascara on i think it just looks so like fake and clumpy a little bit at the bottom and we're going in again i am going to set all of this with the morphe setting mist this is the best setting this and it literally smells so nice and it doesn't feel sticky it just feels absolutely divine And I love the smell and I feel so fresh after it. You gotta make sure not to put your eyes up or else it's gonna go on your eyelids. So then, this has been my favorite clear gloss lately and you guys have been commenting on this so much in my videos. Like this is a really glossy gloss and it's like makes your lips really juicy. It is the Revlon clear gloss. Super, it's literally covered because of the sticker. But y'all can see it here. So I just lather this on generously because I like really glossy lips. And that is literally it. Oh my God, I'm so happy with this look. I am so, 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 so excited for tonight and I am hoping that you had an amazing day and you're having an amazing night and I know that you love this video so subscribe to the channel and yeah, I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.